Hey everybody, welcome to Coffee with Key from Key Digital University. Go ahead and grab yourself a cup of coffee or your drink of choice. We're going to go ahead and give you some useful pro AV information in the amount of time it takes you to finish that drink. Today we're discussing KD BYOD 4K Hub. This is Key Digital's wireless presentation and conferencing gateway, and it does a lot of really cool things. It's actually based on Key Digital's KD BYOD 4K, which is a wireless presentation gateway. Okay, so take that as your foundation of knowledge. And if you haven't already watched the Key Digital University video on KD BYOD 4K, I do recommend you start there because that's the foundation um, that we're starting from. And then we're adding to it with the hub product. So the BYOD 4K, this foundation like I, that I speak of, you're able to cast. That means you're going to come in with a Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, or Chrome device, okay? The five major platforms. And you could send through the network wirelessly your AV content to the screen. Now, the screen has our KDBYOD 4K unit connected or the KDBYOD 4K hub uh, unit connected via HDMI, right? So it's an HDMI connection sending 4K resolution to the display, casting at 30 frames per second video. That's unbelievably smooth video, whereas there's some competitors products out there that are more or less known for a choppy video experience, not with the key digital products here. <clears throat> and with the hub, you're not only going to be able to cast for a localized presentation, but we've now received years of experience. We've now earned years of experience and we could leverage that experience. We, we've now seen the transformation of the modern workplace where these rooms where uh, displays are mounted on the wall, they're used for conferencing, they're used uh, for huddle spaces, they're used for board rooms, um, training rooms, that kind of thing, classrooms as well, of course. So many of them are actually used for video conferencing as well. Not just local presentations, but video conferencing. And so when you're talking to these clients, these corporations, universities, uh, educational facilities, and more, and they say, oh, we need to present in this room, keep in mind, chances are they probably also need to do video conferencing or that expectation is there. And this is the device to set you up for that. Because when I connect to the unit, and I can cast wirelessly, sending my audio video. At the same time, I have a bi-directional. So casting AV this way and back this other way, the USB webcam. Back the other way to the computer, the USB audio system, USB mic speaker, perhaps even USB output from a professional uh, AV uh, company's DSP, for example. Um, so it's sending the AV one way, to the unit from the computer, phone, or tablet, but then also sending the webcam and the, uh, the USB uh, camera and the USB audio system back into the computer. Now we see the on-screen instructions for when you sit down in the room, we make it very friendly and we even include this USB flash drive, um, one per box and you can sell them individually. And with that device, or with that USB, you see it's dual headed, so it accommodates Mac and Windows. You insert that into the computer. It's going to join the network that the KDBYOD 4K hub is on. It's going to connect to the unit. Even if you don't have the password, even if you've never ever been on that network before, it's going to join that network. It's going to connect to the base unit that it's paired with. And it's going to uh, launch the KD Play Plus application that you see here. Launch that in the bottom right corner of the computer. So then the user is able to clean up their desktop. And all they got to do is hit where it says stop mirroring down there. At first, that's a green button. And it says start mirroring, of course. Now, <clears throat> new with the KD Play Flash software is some additional widgets that were not there on the KD Play Flash plus, or excuse me, on the original KD Play app. These new widgets are monitor preview window, camera uh, enable and select, so the uh, webcam, mic enable and select, again, the, uh, the audio system, and the USB host selection. Uh, so we're going to give you some more details on what all of these mean. Additionally, 
the KD BYOD 4K hub now has two HDMI outputs, whereas the predecessor, the BYOD 4K, which is still an active product, I shouldn't say predecessor, but the, uh, the little brother, little sister product, if you will, only had a single HDMI output. So with two outputs, it gives you a variety of options. Number one is you could have mirrored going on, uh, mirrored displays going on, uh, where both displays connected will show the same thing at the same time. Alternatively, uh, if you break these up and make them individual, one is going to be called the main and the other is going to be called the sub. You could have a uh, primary presenter on the main and up to four presenters uh, simultaneously with the um, with the multi-view layout. I have an example of that here I'll show you uh, on the sub display. Or you could flip that and have four presenters showing their information at the same time. Think of those brainstorming sessions, for example, on the main and one on the sub. Or, and this is really cool, if you want to cast to both displays at the same time from one PC, you just need to do that via two different casting methods. One is wired and wireless. So uh, wired, there's actually an HDMI input on the BYOD 4K hub. I'll show you that. So obviously that would work. And then wireless casting uh, from that same computer. And then you're going to have like a dual monitor setup, right? Where you can just drag the presentation to one side, drag the video conference software of choice, be it Zoom, Teams, Hangouts, et cetera, to the other monitor, right? Just like you would if you had two physical monitors connected. Um, or you could do uh, wireless casting to both monitors. If you're with a Windows computer, you would use the KD Play Plus application that I showed you a moment ago. And then alternatively or uh, secondarily, you'll use Miracast. Miracast is also built into uh, your PCs, your Windows PCs. And uh, we support Miracast natively in the BYOD 4K hub. And you may or may not know this already, but if you just press Windows plus K, that's going to show the menu where you could cast to uh, your Miracast compatible devices. You'll see them by name in there. And whatever you have named your BYOD 4K hub device, you'll see that in a list where you could select it. If you have a Mac computer, similar concept, KD Play Plus app for one screen and AirPlay on the other, also supported natively, supported natively in this device. So this is one very cool feature. Another very cool feature is um, the output preview monitor. So imagine you do have, and, and you can see here on our sub on the bottom right there, we have the four collaborators, right? Four collaborators, they're casting. So really we see five people casting, five users, devices, casting to the BYOD 4K hub. And we're having a brainstorming session in the room. But how do we involve the remote participants, the participants who are part uh, part of this meeting from Zoom in another state, another office, another country? How do we really immerse them in this and make them fully part of the team? And you know, uh, therefore making the meeting much, much more efficient, right? With this output preview window. The BYOD 4K um, hub uh, connected PC, they can open this preview monitor. It's from the widget in the KD Play app. You just press the button, it's gonna launch this preview monitor where you could choose the main or the sub and you could show that content. You could, through your screen share in the Zoom, you could share this content with the remote participants. Really, really br brilliant. Now, Wired present, uh, wireless presentation is awesome. It's everywhere right now, and you can see we're doing so much with it. We're set, We're not only sending AV one direction to the display projector, we're also sending the USB back the other direction uh, into the host computer, whether it be wireless or wired. And here's you know a, a diagram of that wired connectivity where we have um, rooms that are used as a BYOD, bring your own device, right? But what about um, they, if they have also a NUC computer or a desktop computer or somebody just prefers to have a wired connection? There is a HDMI input and a USB host uh, connection on the BYOD 4K hub. Let's see if we could zoom on in here to show you what that looks like. Yeah, there we are. So we could see actually 
our HDMI input, and our USB host. And here's what's really cool about this. If you are not casting from KD Play Plus, so there's nobody wirelessly casting to this uh, BYOD 4K hub, but there is a wired PC connected into the unit and the USB, the system will automatically route the USB uh, signal, the webcam and the audio into that connected host computer. Now, if you want to change it over to wireless, you could, there's a simple button, a widget button in the KD Play Plus app. And so imagine sitting at the table and having a wireless keyboard and mouse sitting on the table there with you, right? Uh, or perhaps you're even using a uh, USB uh, tabletop mic and speaker. Uh, there's a lot of options there on how to integrate this. It's a very cool feature. Now, also new in the uh, KD BYOD 4K hub is Miracast support, as I alluded to earlier. Um, from an Android device, open up your uh, smart view. You see the KD BYOD 4K hub. And as I mentioned earlier, from your Windows PCs, just a Windows K to go ahead and uh, cast to that BYOD 4K hub unit. Now, as the name indicates, KD BYOD 4K hub offers a plethora of USB connectivity. There's nine total ports. Uh, the USB 3.0 ports are blue and the others are USB 2.0. It is specific where you plug your webcams in at. And you can actually have two web cameras connected. And with the KD Play Plus app, you could choose between which web camera you'd like to route in to your host computer. Very cool stuff. Uh, similarly, the audio specifically needs to go into that specific USB 3.0 po uh, port that we see with the icon on it. Um, there's also touchscreen USB ports, and there's two of them. Why? Because there's two monitors. So you could do mouse forwarding with this, meaning if you have your touch screen over your two displays and you press your finger, um, if you're casting to that monitor, it's going to send that finger press location backward to the casting computer. Um, keyboard and mouse also, as I depicted in the earlier diagram, um, if those are connected into the KDBYOD 4K hub, um, then they will not only be able to be used for the moderator tools that are built in to the BYOD units, again, watch the BYOD 4K video to get the foundational information there, but uh, also can be used to click the mouse and to control, type the keyboard on a casting PC computer running KD Play Plus. Um, some new features of the KD BYOD 4K, this could really be an all-in-one box that could turn on and off your monitors as well, uh, your display, when you, uh, when you wanna use the room. And it could do it either, either via RS-232 or CEC control. Um, we see in the web UI where you do all of the setup here, and it's a really excellent uh, user interface here. Very, very self-explanatory. And we have a complete um, walkthrough of the web UI in the product documentation. So you could just see that and you'll see firsthand where you're gonna uh, go and set things up. But uh, if you wanted to set up CEC control, all you got to do is enable display control in the display and audio section as we see the, the menu in this left-hand picture. Um, enable display control. So what will happen is when the BYOD 4K hub turns on, it'll also turn on the TV. What does this mean? Except from display. You see the second checkbox? What if your user has the habit of turning on the TV in the room instead or the projector, the CEC supported display can actually turn on the BYOD 4K unit. Um, other events, other happenings of the BYOD 4K when it goes into standby mode um, or uh, when it goes into standby mode or when it exits standby mode, it can turn on and off the display via CEC or as we see in the RS-232 side, if we enable that feature, we could specify the baud rate and we could send the command 
that we want out of the unit's RS-232 port. Um, this is an example of sending uh, LG RS-232 control. Although I just did this earlier and actually I'm seeing here, the baud rate would be, I believe, 9,600 for LG as opposed to baud, 50, a baud rate of 57,600. So uh, forgive me for that. But um, another cool feature of the KDBYOD 4K hub is digital signage mode. So when the unit is not being used for a meeting and nobody's casting to it, nobody's presenting to it, you can have a uh, auto standby time. And when it enters that standby, again, it could either turn off the display or if you enable digital signage mode, it can then go to and display a web URL. So if you have your company branding, maybe it's a logo or a logo, or maybe it's news items like a bulletin board, digital bulletin board, um, you can uh, have the BYOD displaying that, the BYOD 4K hub displaying that out of the H HDMI port of the hub onto the display. So it's a really feature which rich product and it's going to do everything you need because again, those displays in these offices and in place of, of getting together educational or otherwise, those displays are really being used for video conferencing now. And this is the tool that's going to make that easy. So thank you very much for viewing. And if you have any additional questions, questions about where to buy the products uh, and more, send those on over to us, sales at keydigital.com. Thank you very much.